contested I've accepted. When the party was when the party was formed at first, yes. Yes, the grassroots were very powerful. Of late, you have been relegated to the background. As if you don't matter. But you matter, the power is yours. And that was the reason why I sent Ahoto down there. That with Ahoto, we'll be able to empower the grassroots. You will be powerful financially to manage your constituencies. When we come to power, there will be more the constituencies in the rural areas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, so as you know by now, Dr. Kwabna Dufour has picked up a uh, nomination form. Um, you also have uh, one person that many don't really know about, uh, also picking up a form. He goes by the name Enes Kweku Kobia. He says he's a businessman. And then Kojo Bonsu uh, has also picked forms. And then uh, former President Mahama also picked. But in the NDC, it, something is looking like a, a very unfair process. <laughs> Almost all the MPs and even the party executives, anybody you ask will say, Mahama, forget the rest. Is that how to go about this? Well, something we are in a democracy, and the NDC um, is the National Democratic Congress. So democracy is our middle name. In a democracy, people have free choices. They have freedom of choice with respect to, I mean, uh, to who they vote for and so on. Um, we, those of us, you know, and that includes myself, who think that uh, John Mahama is the presumptive, uh, you know, flag bearer of the party, even at this stage, are not doing so um, out of a, a vacuum, all right? We, we are standing on solid ground. Okay, look at the man's track record. So he's the only former president now who has a track record. So even uh, the rest, the rest, no, 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 I'm talking about in the NDC, ah, okay. all right? So even the rest of the candidates, if they get the note, okay, in the unlikely event that they get the note, they are going to run on his record. Because, I mean, he and then Professor Mills, of course, but he, his immediate record is what they are going to run on. In fact, uh, Kojo Bonsu um, made a statement the other day that he will run on the record of President Mahama, all right? So the man is, is alive. He's interested in running, and you want to run on his record instead of he himself. Second thing is that something from the last primaries that were done, okay, the, it was very, very clear that the party rank and file, okay, love President Mahama to bits. Okay, I can tell you from my own constituency, okay, that the rest of them will probably not get up to 1% of the vote from our delegates. And I'm in touch with the delegates on a daily basis. And that is why we, the MPs, who that's, see... That's, that's intimidating. No, it's it, not... It, it no, discourages I'm, I'm, those who are also oh, it, coming in. No, but, but they are coming in to compete. We are just telling them the odds of... <laughs> they are winning the, the contest. I mean, um, all of them are... I mean, uh, qualified. I, I, it's, I like Kovna Dufour. It's, it's very just much, starting, you know, so we'll make time for yes, this. Yes, um, yes Habib. Yes, I, I think it's just a process. Um, the, our colleagues in the other party, NDC, uh, have started. Uh, we wish them well. But I think that um, the two other or three others competing with uh, president, former President Mahama is just to register their presence. I don't expect uh, former President Mahama winning less than 95% of the vote. Oh, he, really? He, yeah, I don't expect that. So even but, the MPP uh, are but, you know, we, we are in, Within the NDC, he's popular, but he's going to be the easier candidate for Dr. Bawea to beat. Oh, that's really? Why that's, why, that's, why you, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. that's why you think. But he will not that win nothing less than uh, 95%. <laughs> okay. So wish him well. <laughs> All right. Uh, Professor Prof. Sarkar, Paul, um, is, 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 the, is the terrain fair in the NDC as you see it? Because even even serving officers, the pronouncements you hear, you know? The question of fairness, I think it's a question of 
uh, political reality, right? Every political party would always have the, the establishment's favorite candidate. Um, and over the last one to two years, I think we can all agree that um, the party establishment, you know, definitely was going to back uh, former President John Mahama. I, I don't like to make predictions, but on this one, my money is on um, former President John. And I really don't see anyone being able to wrestle this from him going into uh, 2024. Mm. Um, I, 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 I think that, for, for example, someone like Dr. Pabner before, perhaps this may be more um, of a stepping stone towards uh, 2028 because, you know, John Mahama would have... Former he's, he's, John Mahama he's, he's old. How can he be looking towards 2028? Please say that again. Yeah. He's 88. He's, he's over 80, yes. He's 82 now. 82. Yes, but if he still has strength, good health, and life, then uh, why not? But again, I don't see any of them beating former President John Mahamal. I think okay. even if you look at the last results from their primaries, um, like the deputy majority we've said, 95% uh, minimum. Okay. Uh, Professor Jampo, we have just a minute to go. <laughs> uh, what do you want me to say? <laughs> it will be easier for a fish to climb a tree than for any of the current contenders to be able to put beat John Mahama. <laughs> so, so what? Should they, should they, should they throw in the towel? I like that one, Prof. I, 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 I don't, I don't. I mean, I've said it. I'm saying it will be easier for a fish to climb a tree than yes. for any of the current contenders to beat John so, Mahama. So, you are saying they are wasting their time? Um, they should advise themselves. But, but even if. Um, he is the sole candidate. You have only one candidate. You still have yeah, your. He will, ha he will have to be endorsed. He will have to be endorsed yes, by the delegates. Yeah. yeah. So there's no saving <clears throat> money if the other candidates say we are not going. There will be savings of money. How? Well, yeah, be yeah, because the campaign will not be that. Yeah, yeah. The campaign. Okay. All right. We'll Thank you. Thank you all very much. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you all so very much, my guest uh, today. Uh, this morning have been <clears throat> Dr. John Osai Kwapong, Political Scientist, Democracy and Development Fellow, CDD Ghana, Professor Ramsford Jampo, Professor of Political Science, University of Ghana, um, Habib Idris, who is MP Tolong and Deputy Majority Chief Whip, Dr. Dominic Ayene is MP for Boga and Boga East and former Deputy Attorney General and Minister for Justice. Earlier, we spoke to Professor Kenneth Ajuman Atefa, Executive Secretary of the National Identification Authority.